Hello everybody, Christian here with Stripmeister. Today we're just going to do a quick video showing you guys how to set up your original machine and the motorized version, the E250. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so like any other machine, it's important to know how to use it properly. So the first step to setting up your Stripmeister is to take a small piece of cable. This is what you'll use to set the machine up and after that you're good to run. So you find the smallest hole that works for your cable and you set it through. The next step is to touch your knife off. What this does is holds the cable in place while you set your wire guide. Setting the wire guide is one of the most important steps. So what you want to do is have the cable at a 15 degrees angle going into the feed wheel and then you put a little bit of pressure on top of your, of your wire guide and then tighten it down. It's very simple but very effective. The last step is to get your knife height set correctly. So I run the machine slowly and lower the knife until you start to see copper. Yep, yeah, just like that. Now we can start stripping without any issues. Beauty. All right, but we all know that scrap copper usually doesn't look nice and fresh off a spool. Usually it has a whole bunch of nasty kinks. So this is more of a, a real world situation for stripping copper wire. But with the strip micer, it doesn't matter. It'll straighten it out, it'll pull it through, and you will still get a perfect strip every single time. Just like that, beauty. All right guys, I'm gonna do 20 gauge cable. We don't recommend doing anything less than even 16 because you just won't make any money but I want to show you guys that it is possible. So same process as before. Get a small clipping of cable just to set your machine up. Find the smallest hole that you can. Touch your knife off. And then get your wire guide set. Now setting the wire guide when you're using really small cable is a little more tricky because you can actually distort the cable if you push it down too far, which is not good. But the same rule still applies. You want that 15 degrees going in and a little bit of pressure on top. And that's it. Now, the last step is to set your knife height and you run the machine slowly, bring the knife down slowly until you start to see copper. And just like that, machine is all set and we can start stripping. Now, one of the hardest parts about stripping small cables is actually to get the cable out of the casing. So what I recommend doing is to strip it as if you were gonna terminate it. This gives you this little tag end that you can use to get the copper out of the casing. And just like that guys, 20 gauge cable. All right guys, we're gonna move on to the E250. This is simply the motorized version of the original. And for that, I will be stripping this two, or sorry, one gauge cable. So the process is the exact same. We find the hole that works. Now all these are too small, so we'll, we'll go to the largest hole here. And then we'll touch our knife off. And then we'll set our wire, our wire guide to the correct height. So it's the same thing. We want that 15 degree angle going up, a little bit of pressure on top, and then tighten it down. Now the process for setting the knife height is the exact same, except instead of the drill gun, we're using the motor. So we turn it on run the machine slowly and lower our blade until we start seeing copper. So that looks pretty good right there. Now we can crank our machine up and strip our cable. Now you'll notice this is a little bit kinked up, but with the strip micer, it does not matter. It will take it anyways, and you will always get a nice, clean, consistent strip. Even if your cable's all messed up. All right, gonna strip some number 10 here. On this take, I'm just gonna do it at full speed so you guys can see just how fast the process can be once you're comfortable with the whole thing. But the process is exact same. Find the correct hole, touch your knife off, set the wire guide, get your knife set until you start seeing copper and you're good to go. And just like before, I will kink up this cable so you can see just how bad of shape your cable can be in before you start to strip. And just like that. Smooth, easy, fast, consistent. Every single time. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as we say here, happy stripping. <laughs>